For today's money makeup lesson, I want to show you how to create this simple smoky eye using two eyeliner pencils. Not only is this look really easy to create and it applies very quickly, it's also really convenient for traveling because all you have to do is pop two pencils into your makeup bag. They take up very little space, they can be applied even with your fingertips, super quick and easy and I love it. But before we get into the tutorial, if you're new here to the Makeup Chair channel and you enjoy videos like this, then I might suggest hitting the subscribe button below. It's totally free. And if you're already subscribed, then thank you and welcome back. Now let's get started. We're gonna start by priming the eyelids as always. This is like priming a wall before you paint it. It creates a smooth surface. It preps it for the makeup. Now I have dry lids. So typically I use a matte full coverage concealer as my base and then I set it with a skin toned eyeshadow. However, today I'm going to mix in a little bit of eyeshadow primer that's a little bit drier because I don't want to set the base with eyeshadow. I don't want to use eyeshadow today. I also don't want to do that because we're using pencils which are creamy. So if I apply the powder eyeshadow over to set my base, the pencil might struggle to glide over. It, it kind of creates a little bit less movement. So by mixing in my primer, it's going to prevent any creases, meaning I don't have to set it, but it's also going to make sure that the pencil pencils can glide. Now for mature eyelids, some of these primers can add some weight to the eyes. So to counteract that, I would use a damp sponge to blend this out. This is going to do two things. It's going to remove any excess product from the eyelids, so it won't weigh it down as much, but it also won't compromise on the coverage that you're getting from your primer. It also just feels really soothing on the eyelids, which is a bonus. The first pencil I'd recommend is using a matte pencil. So one with no shimmer. And this should be a few shades darker than your skin tone. I'm using a chocolate shade, but if you're not sure what deep shadow would work for you, definitely let me know about your skin tone and your eye color, and we can help you figure that out. But we're gonna start on the outer edge of the lash line. The outer edge is gonna be slightly higher. That's gonna be our starting point. Now to help you with your application, use your pinky and place it on your cheek. This will just give you a little bit more stability. You also wanna hold the pencil like a pencil. So basically the way that you would write with, hold it in exactly the same way, kicking out your pinky. And also when you're applying, you don't wanna draw like you're drawing on a wall. You wanna bring your hand slightly lower. This will just create a little bit more of a tilt, meaning you're less likely to poke yourself in the eye. So grab a mirror, hold it low in front of you, keep your hand nice and low so the pencil is tilted upwards at an angle and rest your pinky on your cheek. You wanna start by lightly pressing the liner over the lash line. You don't necessarily have to create a perfect line. Just do little strokes, working on that outer third of the lid, and just follow the natural curve of your lash line. And you should end up with something that looks like this. The next step is optional, but I also like to tight line. So this is gonna go in between the upper lashes. This really adds that smoky effect, but if it feels too ticklish, don't worry about it. Now we want to connect to the inner corner of the eye, but we want this to taper off ever so slightly. So slightly higher on the outer edge and then sweeping downwards. Now to make this step a little bit easier, you wanna change your pinky position. I like to fold my pinky so it's laying against my cheek now. This will just allow me to get to the inner corner. We're also gonna line the upper waterline. Now, if you want to elongate your eyes, skip this step, but if you want to create a rounder look or bring your eyes closer together, bring that tight lining all the way in. And you should end up with something that looks like this. We're gonna blend this in with a pencil brush. You can use your fingertips, but a pencil brush is great because it's nice and small, so it gives us a lot more control. Think of it like a little sponge and a fluffy brush had a baby. That's what this would look like. It has a little bit of movement, which is great for removing harsh lines, but it's also firm enough to buff and blend. We're going to follow the same technique as before. We're gonna hold it like a pencil and you can kick out your ring finger and your pinky if you want to. This will just give you a softer blend. You want to do little back and forth motions, just little smudges back and forth. Don't worry about dragging this up too high. Just do little back and forth motions over the liner. This will just warm up the liner and then it will start to smudge easier for you. We're slowly moving our hand a little higher now. So this will just make sure we're keeping the blend going across the lash line. The lower your hand, the higher the blend. So the higher your hand, the lower the blend, meaning that we're gonna get more of a horizontal blend and not pushing it up too high. Now you can use whatever's left over on the brush and just smudge this underneath your eyes, or you can add a little liner underneath and smudge that. I just like using whatever's left over. 
The next pencil has a shimmery kind of glow to it. Of course, you could just go straight in with this, but what I like to do is layer it with the matte underneath just gives you a lot more definition. Now for control purposes, I like to use the brush to pick up the product and then apply it, but it's totally up to you. Starting on the outer edge of the eye, just as before, we're going to work this over the top of everything that we've already applied. We're doing little wiggling back and forth motions as we blend this in. As you start to use up whatever's on the brush, you can slowly start to bring this to the inner corner. We don't want too much product to the inner corner, so always start in the outer edge and blend and fade into the inner corner. So every time you pick up some extra product, start in the outer edge and bring it in. Now for the next step, you want to look forward and I'm going to hit just slightly above my lid. So this is the height of the shadow. So when you're sweeping over the lid, I only wanna bring it up about this height. Again, most of the product should be on the outer lower edge on the lash line and then very slowly start to fade up to this line. Next, taking a clean blending brush, I'm going to sweep around the edges of the shadow. Hold your brush a little further down on the handle. This will just lessen the pressure, creating more of a sweeping technique. And you just wanna sweep around the edges. This will just make sure that you have a soft blend, no harsh lines, but it'll also help with the next step. So for the next step, you want to take your bronzer or your contour or even a sheer blush, and you just want to use the same brush as before, holding it slightly further down on the handle to create a little soft blend and go around the edges again. This will just give you a much better shape and just finish the overall look. If you wanna add a little bit more drama, you can reapply the liner, even using your fingertips to warm it up and then placing this on the lid. What I also like to do is I like to slowly smudge this just at the lash line and then kind of into the eye. And this just creates that smoky lower lash line effect. Now, don't worry if it looks messy. Smoky eyes are supposed to look messy until you clean them up. So I've cleaned up and I've applied mascara and look at my friend's mascara. Look how amazing my lashes look. This is Up Cosmetics. You can actually check out my lash routine if you wanna see how I apply mascara. But you know me, forever a fake lash lover, I have to apply those lashes and this is great for an evening. So daytime, just mascara, evening, I add my lashes. And there you go two pencils. You have a fun, dramatic look that you can build up over time if you want to. It's really quick and easy. And I'll post a shorter version of this for anybody who doesn't need all the in-depth detail about holding the brush and all that. I'll upload that maybe tomorrow or on Wednesday. But as always, my friends, be kind to yourself, be kind to others. And oh, I have something to share with you. This made my year. <laughs> Not even my day, my week, my year. The makeup chair is here. I want to go ahead and give a little shout out because the talent of this woman is a whole nother level. If you are interested in tutorials, go over to the makeup chair and go check out her videos. Just a whole nother level, especially if you want like seamless eye looks, like eye looks that are so freaking perfectly blended and you want to learn how to do that right there. Isn't that just the nicest thing in the whole world? Like I was literally on the verge of crying. It was just so sweet. I love her so much. Go and check her out. Her recent video talking about the Lisa Frank fiasco is just amazing. Really, really interesting. All of her videos are, and I love watching her live. Go and check her out. But as always, my friends, be kind to yourself, be kind to others, and I will see you in the next one.